I'm Roger McNamee from Moon Ellis. I'm Barry Sless. Chloe Teachin. Rachel Teachin. Erica Teachin. So we are half of Moon Ellis, but we're the acoustic half. And so we're here to play this little thing for Acoustic Guitar Magazine, which has been a favorite of ours for a really long time. We're playing some really cool old guitars here. This guy is 80 years old. It's a 1942 Martin 0021. And the only reason I have it was the guy who owned it before me punched a hole in the lower bout and stuck a pickup inside the thing and then had a, a plug right there. And he took this incredible guitar and basically destroyed its vintage value. Fortunately, that had nothing, no impact on the sound. The sound is really amazing. And I got it at Griffin String Instrument in Palo Alto, California, where Frank Ford, who is truly a magician in the luthier business, had restored it. You can't even tell that it was ever damaged. Now, unfortunately, there's a, an ugly thing that happened. I'd had it probably 10 years, and I was in my kitchen, I wasn't paying attention, and I knocked it off a bench. And it landed on the foot of the table, right on the patch popped it right out. It sounds better oh. now. And, and so I go back to Frank, hat in hand, and I go, Frank, I've destroyed this thing. And he took pity on me, which, honest to God, if you've ever been to Griffin, you understand what incredible people they are and how cool that experience was. Anyway, he repaired it. It's good as new, and I'm going to play it today. And you, what do you plan? Well, this is a 1962 Gibson Hummingbird, beautiful guitar. Um, kind of what's special about it is it's only the third year of production. And a uh, little side note, uh, Keith Richards, Keith, Keith Richards uh, used the Gibson Hummingbird uh, to record As Tears Go By in 1964. And uh, I believe we were together when we got we, this guitar, Yeah, right? we got this thing in Ithaca, New York at Rumble Street Music. Uh, and we got it in 2008 when we were on tour with, with Moon House in the early days of the band. And this thing, it just got such beautiful tone. And I think they were only making, they were only making like a couple hundred of them a year in those days. And so it's, uh, it's a really, really, really special guitar. And it's like one of those things where, you know, when, I'm, when we're on the road, we go to guitar stores all the time. But he, he, we don't walk out with them very often. But we walked out with that one. And that was a, a very good decision. And you guys, you guys are playing air guitars. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really, really vintage air guitars. So yeah. that yeah. should work out really well. <laughs> anyway, so Moon Alice is a 10 piece band. We mostly play psychedelic soul. And uh, we have Lester Chambers from the Chambers Brothers and his son Dylan in our band. John Lolo plays drums. Pete Sears plays the bass. Jason Crosby plays keys. But we also do play acoustic. And it's an uh, important part of where we come from. So what we're going to do here are a couple songs from our upcoming EP release uh, on Network Music Records. And uh, this first one is called Nick of Time.
That's a song I wrote a few years ago. Again, it's going to be on the Moon Alice EP that comes out April 20th. So uh, we hope you will enjoy that. Yes, we don't want to drop that in Frank will kill me. Now this guitar here, this is much more recent. Uh, this is from the aughts, I think 2008. It's a Martin Triple O 28, except you'll see it doesn't say Mark on it. And the reason for that is that Richard Johnston at Griffin String Instruments wrote the history of Martin with the people at Martin, the official history. And while they were doing the research, they discovered that Martin's official history, in fact, was wrong. They had dated the 14th fret flat top to the wrong guitar. That in fact, the first one was made in 1929 for a banjo player uh, by the name of Perry Bechtel, who special ordered it. He said, I need a 14th fret flat top guitar. Apparently, he wanted to shred. <laughs> And so they made a guitar that looked just like this, including these incredibly annoying tuning heads up here. So when you're changing strings, this thing is deeply unsatisfying. Mm -hmm. But everything else about it is just fantastic. Mm -hmm. And uh, it sounds really, really great. And I think now we're going to play a song that Rachel wrote. Yes, indeed. We're going to play a song called Woo Woo, which is so on our new EP. Exactly. And so if you guys do any streaming, uh, please go to Spotify or, or Apple Music or Amazon or whatever your streaming platform of choices. Please follow Moon Alice and check out these songs and all the other ones because this is half of our band and the other half is mighty fine also. So uh, anyway, do you want to do the little instrumental or the vocal beginning or the yeah, instrumental sure. beginning? Yeah. Rubbed up, talked down, and I've been in school. But at least I know I've been a fool. It's been staring at me.
check out our website, moonalice.com. Check us out on streaming services. We'll be on the road all summer long, all the rest of the year. We hope to see you out there someplace. Thank you to Acoustic Guitar Magazine. We are huge fans, longtime subscribers, and love y'all. Bye. Peace.